What going on, Shane? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm figuring it out. Trying to get, just trying to get better, really. That's all. Yeah, you will. Every day you get a little bit better. Never stop. Forget it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit. Keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, it. no. Give up if I just call you back when your work day is done. You want me to call you back after three? Okay, all right, I'll call you back later. Bye. So I'll call that contractor. He had all kinds of noise going on in the background. I could tell he was on the job site, so it didn't surprise me when he told me to call him back. So I'll call him back after three. Most of our uh, contractor customers are done with their work day after three, so I'm gonna call him back and see if I can get him over the demo at that time. So I'm putting it on my calendar so that I do not forget to call him back. And uh, I'm just using Microsoft Outlook, nothing fancy, just to um, give myself a reminder alert when three o'clock hits so I can be mindful of the, of the time and give him a shout back. All right, guys, I'm about to hop on a shadow session with one of my... Um, SDR team members that's just started maybe I think he's been here maybe a month going on two months but he's also a course career student so you know I gotta um gotta watch out for my course careers cousins right so I'll let you guys have a sneak peek into that we're gonna kick it together for about an hour maybe two he's interested to know um, how my conversations go on the calls because he's kind of been having some struggles on the phones What's going on, Shane? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm figuring it out. Trying to get, just trying to get better, really. That's all. Yeah, and you will. Every day you get a little bit better. I'll either try to lock them in to a time if I got them on the phone. I'll follow what it says. I'll call from the local number. And mm -hmm. then uh, later in the day when I call it on step two from the direct line, if they don't answer, that's when I send the text message. Um, mm -hmm. so I guess those would be, that's how I'm like, uh, going about step one, but it's just like, I don't know, man, it's, mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of, okay, yeah, yeah, that sounds good, that sounds good, so I just, yeah, yeah, so I'm free at four o'clock, and then I call him at four, and then nothing, and I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, let me show, let me share my screen, let me show, I had one like that yesterday, let me see here. One lead, I was on the phone with him. We was uh, laughing and cackling, and I thought everything was straight. We had good rapport. The minute I hit transfer to send their ass to the AE, they hung up. Oh what they? I just spent all this time talking to you, and you done hung up. Could not get them back on the phone or anything. It always sucks when you spend all this time for them to just be screwing around. So yeah, I definitely feel you on that. But so let me see. I had one guy that kind of did me like that let me uh go in here and i actually ended up getting it and i sent him the demo this morning uh oh it was this dude right here let me see you can see my screen right yeah, yeah I'm seeing all right so let me see blah, blah, blah. okay so this let me play this recording hello hey this is gabriel what's <laughs> Um, just doing research, trying to find out ways to, to um, expand 
get back up there. Okay, Gabriel? All right, what's your name again? Tina. Tina? Okay, all right, definitely. I'll be looking forward to talking to you later. Okay, sounds good. I appreciate you. All right, so you heard that, right? Yes. All right, so as I was about to transfer on, he was like, I might have to get off the call. So I was like, I ain't finna, I'm not finna set myself up for that okie doke. So instead of me uh, sending him and letting him ghost the AE, I said, well, let me be the one to call it back. So this is what happened after that. Um, <clears throat> all right, so he's in Central Time. So I ended up calling it back. You see my screen? Yeah. It said, no answer, no contact made. So when I call him, he didn't answer the phone, right? And that's when I called them with the local loan because I remember usually what I, you know how in sales law, you can make a, uh, when you get ready to log the call, there's a box you can put some notes in there. Yes. I like to put a note uh, to remind myself, did I call this person with my local loan or did I call them with my local loan? So I put a note, you see where it says call with local loan? Uh, I put a note so that way I can remember, okay, did I call this person last time? Was my local loan or was it all? Because sometimes it doesn't tell you what, what you did and I don't always remember. So I made a note, okay, when I called him, my local was on. So I called him back with my local on so he would kind of at least have a similar area code and maybe he would kind of realize it was me. <clears throat> uh -huh. But he didn't pick up, right? So when he didn't uh -huh. pick up, I text messaged him. And I said, uh, let's see here. Well, first, first I texted him before I called. I said, hey, I'm about to call you in five minutes, right? And then when I called him, he ain't pick up. So of course I said, we could try again tomorrow. Just let me know what time works best for you. And then he texts me back and he said, call, call him back in the morning around 8. That was this morning, right? Uh -huh. So I got in and <clears throat> and I actually ended up, uh, I think I called him. I, I called him from the local and he didn't pick up. But then I called him again. We ended up connecting and he actually showed up for that 8 o'clock time frame. And I got him over the demo. But it took a few touches for me to do that. All right. Uh -huh. So, and then when I got him over to demo, let's see, this is that call when I talked to him. What's going on, Gabriel? How you doing this morning? I'm alright. <laughs> good, good. Working hard yesterday, wasn't you? Yeah, I'm going to hit it back over there, so. <laughs> I hear you. Alright, good deal. So, we'll pick up where we left off at yesterday. I got your information. I was about to pair you with the product specialist so they can explain the membership real quick. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm sure you got some work you want to get into. Yeah, yeah. For sure. All right, let's see if we can get her on the phone. Let's see here. Let's see what we got here. All right, so that's that. So I was able to get him over. But uh, one of the things I also like to do, you can kind of feel the vibe for the prospects you're talking to. Sometimes I'll be like really informal where I can tell, okay, this is the vibe that they're going to uh, respond to a little bit better. Or if you get those yeah, buttons, yeah. or if you get the button up types, it's like, okay, let me get a little bit more button up so I can match your vibe. Uh, I feel you on that. <laughs> yeah, so he was kind of cool. So I kind of was a little bit more loose with him and it actually worked. And I got him over the demo. And um, it lo looked like it was a good demo because him and Caroline were on that call for over 10 minutes. So, um, oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So that ended up working. Um, can you send me that first call? Because the way you approached that mm -hmm. um, was magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you. Just the intro and then the way you kind of like, I need to hear that. Can you send me that? I sure that, can. That, that link to that call, please. Yeah, let me send it to you right quick. Let's see here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, here you go, right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Come on. All right. and I got some other ones I'm going to send you as well um, let's see mm -mm 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 -mm. so that's that one and I got some I sent George because uh, he and I talked um, a couple days ago mm -hmm. um, so let me see oh, George uh, George is the other um, course career student. Really? Uh -huh. Is he in our? Um, is he in our? Um... Yeah, jo uh, George. Uh, Sarah, he's a uh, and he speaks Spanish too. Let's see here. If you look on the dashboard, you'll see him on there. Let me see. I'm supposed to say what's up to him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we talked the other day. I sent him some stuff. Um, let me see. I'm sending this. Copy. Paste. 
All right, so that's the stuff I sent him. Because he was kind of not only wondering about, about my how my conversations go, but he was also asking questions about how I handle my handoffs when I, when I do the transfers to the AEs. So I sent him that. So that right there, you'll you'll get the conversation between me and the prospect, and you'll hear how I do my transfers. Great. Okay. Good. I think I'm. Oh, I think I'm getting better with the handoff. Mm -hmm. uh, those are. Like, it's just mainly right now the biggest thing that's like getting on my nerves is just. Yeah, 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 I'll get back to you. And it's like, because now, and then they don't get back to you because now it goes, all right, like, what did I do wrong? And mm -hmm. how can I make sure this, this like, it, it has to be something that I'm doing at the end of the day. And I'm trying to get my activity up. I'm trying to make more calls, trying to get more contacts. But it's just, mm -hmm. just trying to get better, that's all. Yeah, man, you, and you will. I mean, you did awesome when you were able to double your, uh, double your ramp quota. That was amazing. I know that felt good. It did feel good. And Kevin told me to just, just relax and calm down because it is still only my second month. Exactly, so that's it's right. It's literally like the third day into the month. So he's like, just calm down. You'll, you'll be good. Yeah, calm. absolutely, man. You'll get into your flow and then you'll start to have your own little routine because everybody likes to run their day different. Like I know that you'll have some SDR because I know I'm not I'm not the person that's making 150 calls a day. You see that my call volume be low, and it's so funny because we're opposite. He makes 100 calls a day, and I make probably a third of what he makes, and we're still getting the same amount of you know demos on the board. So it's just like man, I, it's funny because I feel like the days I come in and I have like a big heavy call day, I get less damn demos. Because this week I was like, okay, I need to I need to make sure uh, mm -hmm. I'm getting instead of getting calls, like okay, get the seventy, yeah. get the seventy, get the mm -hmm. volume high. Because yeah. last month I know mine was a little bit lower, but it was like all right, that was like I was a little bit slower. So try to try to do right. That. Yeah, absolutely. First day I made. I, I think I made eighty one contacts and had this not a single not a single op. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, you'll see that. Like, yep, that's not uncommon because I seen like yeah, I watch the SDR dashboard all the time and I'll see an SDR make a hundred calls and they might not even get one op, just like how you say it. Mm -hmm. And um and from hearing it from hearing that, like Eric said that same thing happened. Um you said that that, that happens. I know Brady said it, it happens, mm -hmm. like, and you're saying it happens. So I'm, I'm just trying to like keep trying to just do my due diligence. Like, yeah. Right, how can I still try to bridge the gap somewhere? How exactly. Can I still try to just get yep. better, you know? Yeah. I think for you, especially just starting out, it is really important for you to hit the dials because the more calls you make, the more, you know, you get comfortable with it and you start to find the your flow. Chances, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then once you become more seasoned at it and you've gotten comfortable in your conversation, then you can kind of breathe a little bit. And it's like, yeah, still focus on getting your dials because they want us to make the dials for sure. But then at least, you know, you're having more quality conversations, which leads to more mm -hmm. demos on the board as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to do that. But yeah, man, it's, it's, we all feel in the same pain. So don't think that all of it is because you, you knew. Cause... All right, let me see. All right, so that concludes that shadow session with uh, my course careers cousin who's on my SDR team. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. There are four of us um, that came from Course Careers um, on this team together. I think it's four. It's, it's me, Richard, George. Yeah, there's four of us on, on the team. And um, we support each other, man. We, we support each other. We come to each other when we got questions. So we got a cool little, little, uh, little click between those four Course Careers students. We just help each other out where we can. So very cool. That's all I got, man. Check in with you guys later. Tech Job Tina signing out. Peace.